Oh boy, we've, <laughs> we've got we've got an army of barbs coming our way though. Hey everyone, Sir Ducks Lancelot here. Today we're gonna be playing Canada. What I'm envisioning for this game is a lot of national parks, preserves, beautiful yields. We're gonna be in tundra, it's gonna look pretty cool. And then I'd like to try to get into the Sanguine Pact Secret Society and then it makes some nice vampire castles around some of those preserves. So that's what I'm envisioning. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's take a look at some of Canada's abilities. So basically a lot of extra yields on tundra and snow tiles. Can't declare war on city states or surprise wars. We get some extra diplo favor, extra tourism at the end. We have the Mountie, which can make national parks. And then we have the ice hockey rink, which is a nice improvement we can Get some nice amenities and culture, and some other yields. We don't really gain any yields by moving, so I think I'm just gonna settle in place. For districts, I'm thinking of starting with a couple holy sites, and then maybe getting a discounted preserve. And we'll start with a scout. Let's see what we get in this tribal village. We met the Void Singers, got a governor promotion, and we grew in population. I want to join the Sanguine Pack, so I'm not joining the Void Singers. Let's go ahead and put in Magnus into the capital. And actually, I'm gonna switch to Animal Husbandry because we need to get this camp going and I'm gonna get a builder next. We've got a camp we can improve right there. We're gonna need the food. We're already stagnating on our growth. It's got the foreign trade boost. That's meeting a foreign continent. Got a continent split right here. And we just met the Owls of Minerva from meeting Taruga. And that's a first meet, so we get that free envoy. They want a holy site, and they give plus 5% science in all cities for each different improved strategic resource they have. Just met Scythia. They're up north. Hopefully she'll be friendly. Sent a delegation. And we've got Code of Laws. I'm going to have some faith from my holy site, so I don't need God King for Pantheon. Let's play Urban Planning. I don't see any barbarians yet, so I'm going to play Survey for my scout experience. And let's get mining next, because we have this builder, and our mines are extra good in Tundra. So we'll make one more detour before we get Astrology. And now we definitely need to get a settler. Look at that juicy camp. That's beautiful. That's from our extra two food on camps. We did meet a barbarian camp up here, so I'm going to start hitting that gonna take a while to actually kill it. Let's see what we get in the tribal village. 40 gold, okay. Nice. There must be a camp down south because there's a barbarian that just came up from the south. So I feel like I probably need to buy a warrior. I think I'm gonna save my gold up for that. And we just got mining, so I'm gonna chop these woods. That finishes our settler. And let's go settle up here. We're gonna need another scout, so let's build another one of those. Look at that nice mine, one four mine tile, that's really nice. Oh, there's a meteor. That's pretty cool, let's go down there with our scout and get that. And I want to get another settler next. And I want to buy that warrior right now. And we just got a promotion on this warrior, so let's fortify, cancel, and promote him. Then we should be able to take that camp. And let's settle the second city right here. I think we'll start with a builder in this one. Okay, let's take this camp. It's starting to spawn horses, it looks like. And let's grab this um, meteor. We get a free chariot, very good. I might just send that out here to try to take this out. We've got a nice plus three holy site right here, so let's go ahead and place that. And we've got a plus two right here, so let's do that one as well. But we'll finish the builder here first. And we'll finish the settler here. We've got barbarians down south, so I think we definitely need the discipline card. Second settler here. Let's go settle on this lake. Definitely having some barbarian problems. And now let's build our holy site in the capital. We can steal this barbarian camp from the city-state. And we get into the sanguine pack. Very nice. This warrior is probably going to die. I think I might... Kill this. Let's go. Let's let's try to kill this. Maybe this guy can attract some attention and this guy will live. We'll see. Okay, that warrior did die. Scout's okay. 
And let's settle our third city. Maybe we'll do a preserve here. We do have pretty nice appeal. Here's Samarkand. They want a Eureka for sailing. They give builders the ability to make trading domes for extra gold. Plus two gold, plus one gold for every adjacent luxury. Your outgoing international trade routes grant plus one gold per trading dome at the origin. Not be built next to another trading dome. Getting our tiles pillaged by the barbs, so yields are going to be a little low for now. There's our plus three holy site. I think it's time to join the Sanguine Pack. We need as much combat power as we can get in this kind of situation. Here's Genghis Khan. He's pretty far to the east. Just got a friendship with Scythia, and we've entered the Classical Era. We have a Normal Age. So do the others. Let's just do free inquiry. Okay, now we can start doing some damage with our vampire. So every unit that dies adjacent to the vampire gets an extra plus one combat strength. That's pretty nice. I just met Vietnam. Also pretty far east. Let's try to save this warrior. Maybe, maybe hitting with the vampire, killing with the scout, and then moving this guy here. I think that might do the trick. Finally repairing our land. Pantheon time. Let's do Earth Goddess. Yeah, plus one faith from breathtaking tiles. We're not going to have a lot yet, but eventually we will. Let's become Suzerain of Taruga. Oh, just lost our chariot. All right, I think we kind of have to back off. I placed my first preserve here. Pretty good appeal. Let's do the second preserve right here. Year. I'm gonna take the provision promotion for Magnus so we don't lose population when we make settlers. Just got my religion. We don't have great holy sites, but we have a couple decent ones. I'm thinking work ethic could still be pretty good. And let's take World Church for the second belief. Let's see the first preserve. Beautiful. Government Plaza. Let's put it on this tile. And then we can get some nice adjacencies around that. New governor, I'm gonna take Pingala, put him in the second city. I'll settle the fourth city right here. And here's our tier one government. We've got some cities, negative one amenities, so I'm taking Classical Republic. And I'm gonna run colonization for the settler production, Ilkum for the builder production, and then plus one production all cities. In St. John, we've got a discounted campus. 40% production discount. Let's put that right there. For government plaza building, I'm doing Ancestral Hall. That's going to give an extra 50% increase in production towards settlers in that city. And then new cities are going to receive a free builder when they're settled. And of course, I'm going to do some deals with the AI so we can uh, sell all our favor that I've been buying super cheap for 23 gold per turn. Just finished our first grove. We've got a beautiful tile right there. Three, two, three, two. We have our ancestral hall, so we can settle this city and get the free builder. This city is low on housing because there's no fresh water. It's already pretty much maxed out on housing. So I wanna get right into the preserve. Just put it right here. Kinda of goes with this preserve over here. It'll boost these tiles. These are only charming. Let's take the connoisseur promotion on Pangala. And I want to start converting my cities. They're starting to get kind of big. It gets harder and harder to convert them the bigger they get. So I think I should just buy a missionary and start converting. And I love to look at this. Look at those yields. I could remove that improvement and make it even better. I think we will. I'll buy a builder there as soon as I can and remove that. We were the first to circumnavigate. Our vampire is already up to plus 10 from barbarians that have died near it. We've successfully converted our empire, so now our, all of our cities have our religion. And we've now finished our preserve in Brantford, so our tiles here are looking better. And we've removed this improvement, so that's a lot better. Definitely a rough start with the barbarians and missing Golden Age, but I'd say we're doing alright. We've got five cities up, getting our districts built. We've got some preserves. I think it's going to turn around now. And we're into the medieval era. We missed golden again. So we'll have another normal age. We'll just take another free inquiry, I think. 
Let's promote Pingala to the researcher promotion. First World Congress, we were able to get the culture bombs. And then no amenities from marble. That kind of hurts us. We're into the medieval era, so now we can take the Sanguine Pact second promotion. And we get another vampire, and then it allows us to build vampire castles. And we can build two of them. Let's put our first vampire castle right here. That all goes straight to our capital. On the tech tree, we're up to apprenticeship, so now our mines get an extra production. Just finished feudalism, that means we get a new builder card. Plus two charges. And our new cities will start also with five charge builders. Let's put our preserve in the capital. We just settled Victoria on this natural wonder. Let's do a preserve right next to it. That looks pretty nice. Put it right there. Those will be really good tiles. And this is our second vampire castle. Beautiful, that is 17 production. Here's our tier two government, divine right, monarchy. Play the Republican legacy card. Here's our 10th city. I think we'll kind of hold off on settling more until we can faith buy in monumentality. Got some barbarian troubles here. Next World Congress. So new districts built by Genghis will be culture bombs. And then I got plus 10 combat strength for units of my religion. We finished our preserve on the natural wonder. So we got these beautiful yields. Let's evangelize our religion. Stupa looks pretty good. Plus three faith, plus one amenity. I decided to put Moksha into one of my three core cities for this extra plus two faith for every specialty district in his city. Now I'm gonna buy stupas in all my cities with holy sites, or at least with temples. I have a lot of faith. Haven't been able to use it really at all yet. So might as well use it on stupas. We have a discounted entertainment complex in our capital. Let's place that right there. It'll give some adjacency to the theater square. And then I think we can probably do Colosseum here. That would hit at least five cities. Ooh, we can buy some luxuries. This will be good for our amenities. Yeah, now we've got some happy cities. That's always nice. Plus 10% on our yields. We do have another governor promotion. Let's go ahead and take Liang, put her in a city. I guess the extra builder charge can be nice. Oh no, we lost a one charge builder to barbarians. And we just finished researching reformed church. So we get the theocracy government. Let's get into that. Theocracy is going to give us an extra discount on purchases with faith. And then also plus 0.5 faith per citizen in cities with governors. Another thing I want to do, just for Barbarians, is buy a Knight. That's going to increase the base strength of our Vampires as well. And we were able to buy that Knight with Faith by having the Grandmaster's Chapel building. Tier 2 government building. Babylon is offering a Cultural Alliance. Let's take them up on that. Let's get a Research Alliance with Scythia. We are about to enter the Renaissance golden age so that means we're about to have monumentality and it would be nice to have quite a bit of faith to spend on builders and settlers but we need three more era score to get the golden age we've got only three turns i'm tempted to just buy this engineer that would get us three era score and then that would help us get coliseum pretty quickly here let's do it we've got a barbarian horde out here coursers Let's buy a knight. And let's place Colosseum. I'm gonna wait till I get the 15% production toward Wonders card in before I use this because that will increase this ability here. We just met Nazca, that's our first faith city state that we met in this game. Getting envoys into it would help increase our faith. And here's the Renaissance era. We finally have our first golden age. Let's do Monumentality, plus two movement for all builders. May purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and settlers are 30% cheaper to purchase with faith and gold. That is amazing. And let's put in Gothic Architecture. And let's try to get Colosseum. Yeah, one turn now, perfect. 
There it is, Colosseum. Awesome. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall It's gonna give us two amenities to cities within six tiles, and then two culture as well. Yeah, that increased our culture probably about 15% empire-wide. Plus five now amenities in our capital. That means that we're gonna we're getting a 20% boost from amenities. Plus six here, so same thing. Now that we finished Colosseum, we can put the builder card back in. And we have some faith, so let's go ahead and buy builders. Something that would have been nice to do the previous two eras. We can start buying settlers with faith as well. I'm gonna start buying them out here, even though we lose population. We can now start settling out here. I've got a little layout going for a nice vampire castle, so we can start settling that. We're getting hammered by barbs all around. Here, here, and out here. Just unlock colonialism, so that gives us our ice hockey rinks. Let's do our first one right here. That's gonna give us six culture. Okay, we can finally take this camp. Might lose some units in the process, but it's worth it. Ooh, we are almost losing this city, but I think we can hold it. I think we can hit here, here, here. Yeah, we have quite a few crossbows, and we just need to get a unit up in front. Yeah, let's put that one there. Okay, I think we, I think we held it. Just met another faith city state. Let's get some more envoys in there for more faith. We've finally cleared this camp. This camp has been such a nuisance. We finally reached conservation on the civic tree, so that gives us naturalists, mounties, and then also sanctuaries. Also, conservation allows us to plant woods. This is always my favorite part of a Canada game. Just, you kind of get to start over in a way and remake your land however you want it. It's like making a picture or something. So we're just gonna go through plant woods pretty much everywhere mainly focusing around the preserves. And then as we improve our land, we're just gonna see these preserves take off. We're gonna see culture popping up, faith popping up where there was none before. We just got our first writer. Let's faith buy our first Mountie. And then we can finally clear out these barbs, maybe. They're already basically as strong as the Mountie. Just got the new public, public works card, so that's gonna help us build more builders. We need a lot of builders to transform our land. We got our first archeologist out here. Let's start collecting those artifacts. Let's get our first national park with this Mountie. There it is, beautiful. And we just accidentally themed our archeological museum. That's always nice. And we're in the industrial era. That means we can get another promotion on our vampires. Grants a vampire in your capital increases maximum vampire castle builds to three. Your vampires now intimidate adjacent enemy units, reducing their combat strength by five. Pillaging now costs vampires one movement. For our golden age dedication, let's take reform the coinage. Gonna give us a little extra gold on our trade routes. We just reached industrialization. That doesn't really mean much for our mines because we're basically removing all of our mines and planting woods but it is nice to have factories and coal plants now. Let's take Magnus out of the capital and let's put in Reyna. Reyna's got a pretty cool promotion. He has forestry management. City receives plus two gold for each unimproved feature and then extra appeal as well. Just had another world congress. We got new districts, act as culture bombs again. Just got suffrage. Let's get into our tier three government democracy. Just got the musician Antonio Vivaldi. Let's put down our beautiful vampire castle here. Just preemptively, it's gonna get better, but we might as well get some yields from that now. And we have radio, so now we have broadcast centers. We also have professional sports now, so we can make ski resorts. Started doing that in some cities. Getting some military engineers to make railroads. That's gonna help us move our builders around. It's really hard to move builders through woods. This card also helps logistics. We got Eiffel, another Wonder Engineer. Let's do St. Basil's here. That'll give this uh, this city a little extra culture and, and food. And then that'll go to that vampire castle eventually. You can use these engineers for that. And actually our religion is only in maybe half of our cities. So I'm gonna launch an inquisition. That'll allow us to build a bunch of inquisitors. 
And then we can use those to go convert our cities. Let's also evangelize our belief. Final belief here. I don't know. Let's just do scripture. Okay, let's finish St. Basil's with Eiffel. The yields are getting pretty nice. And we just got Cold War. That means we unlocked rock bands. We can buy a few of those for more tourism. I think we'll probably mostly play in Scythia's land. We got a leveled up rock band. That's always good. Okay, big progress here on the tech tree. We just got computers. That means we get an additional 25% tourism boost to our empire. We're almost a thousand tourism per turn. The empire is coming along. I would say it's mostly in finished form in terms of the tiles. I just love looking at these yields. We've entered the modern era. Let's take another reform the coinage. Here's my cards. Our amenities are so good that we don't need any amenity cards. So we're playing the tourism cards we have. Also playing frescoes for extra artist points. Okay, pretty big world congress here. We've got double tourism from music and then fascism gains a card. I was going for democracy, but that's okay. At this point, the core cities are pretty much just doing theater projects. And then our rock bands. We have a lot of rock band action going on. Getting lucky on some. Plus 25 amenities in St. John. Okay, here's the big moment. I think we're ready to remove the improvement and then place it again. I think we're maxed out on our piles here. This is as good as they're going to get. So let's refresh that vampire castle and take a look at the yields. 29 production, 20 science, 21 culture, 28 food. 27 faith and 20 gold. Oh boy, we've, <laughs> we've got we've got an army of barbs coming our way though. Still have a ways to go on our victory too, but hopefully these rock bands can speed that up. We just got our first level three rock band. That's pretty cool. Oh, and we lost the level three rock band on his first his first performance after promotion. Another big tourism boost here from environmentalism, plus 25%. We just unlocked our final tourism card, so we're going to put that in. Time for our tier 4 government, digital democracy. And we finally met a cultural city-state. This is a really good one, Ayathaya. Gain culture equal to 10% of the construction cost when finishing buildings. It was hiding way up in the tundra, or the ice, really. We're being blocked. Our rock bands are being blocked with a card by at least by Rome and Vietnam so that is making it a bit harder but we I guess we can try to play in Alexander's land World Congress we got the spies executing chosen operation two levels higher for disrupt rocketry that's pretty good Rome is actually starting to launch their space projects we've now entered the atomic era we have our first dark age this also means we can take our final promotion on the Void Singers. Grants a vampire in your capital, increases max vampire castles to 4. Looks like we have 37 national parks in our land total. I think that's going to be about the max that we're going to fit in here. Also, I did another refresh of the vampire castle so our yields are just a little bit better. This tile wasn't in this city and we want it to be because this wonder gives it extra yields. Amurabi has actually launched his Mars colony and he has smart materials too, so we've got to hurry up. We are getting pretty close. Hopefully just a few more turns. We'll see how our rock bands do. Here's a cool Dark Age card. All civilizations not currently at war receive double tourism from your concerts. We're getting so close on our culture victory, so close. He still hasn't launched his exoplanet, that's good. Oh, we just had a nasty spy mission. <laughs> Yikes, that is a lot of units. That's it. We did it. We the won. Yes. Is not measured by its accomplishments. That was a rough game. I'm going to be honest. That was pretty tough. Two, we missed the first two Golden Ages. Had to churn out a lot of rock bands, but this was fun. Really fun. I love always playing Canada and just kind of like painting the map with culture and science from the preserves. Let's have a final look at our beautiful setup here. The vampire castles looking nice. 
30 production, 20 science, 22 culture, 29 food, 27 faith, and 20 gold. Always satisfying to make those. Okay, that's the game. Let me know what you guys thought. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to the next one.